Hi guys, just a short video. In my post bag video, I showed you I'd bought this uh, circuit board, whatever you want to call it, adapter. What's it called it on the back? ATX power transfer. So you can build yourself a bench power unit, bench supply. Is that the word? I called it a desktop power unit, I think, in the video. Um, so it uses a standard computer power supply. And you just plug it straight in. And you get minus 12 volts, plus 12 volts, 5 volts, and 3.3 volts. All fused. On-off switch here. I've got that powered up. So if we switch that on, light comes on and the fan comes on on, on the power unit. So I just thought I'd better measure the supplies for demonstration purposes. So we'll see what we get there. Minus 11.43 according to that. Uh, that was nothing. Well, it wasn't in far enough. 12.5. Plus, this should be 5, 5.04, this should be 3.3, 3.39. So that negative looks a little bit low, doesn't it? Hmm. I'm not going to worry about it. It will be the power unit that's given the voltage, not this thing, that simply splits the wires and brings them out to the right terminals via a fuse with the on-off switch. I know one of these modules you could buy actually has a USB socket there as well, obviously straight off the 5 volt supply. I thought that was quite handy, but this was the cheapest one I could see. So I, being granddad, I went for the cheapest one. Obviously, if you were going to use this, you'd want to tidy up all these other bits that you don't need. Well, you might actually want to use them, I suppose. If you wanted to try and power up a external drive or something like that, or an internal drive externally. I was quite interested that this particular supply had got this adapter on it to go from however many pins that is to however many pins that is. One, two, three, four, five, ten. That's twenty pins. And that's a few more, isn't it? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So that's twenty-four pins, that's twenty pin. That's just a handy adapter, so I won't be throwing that away. Not that I do much with computers nowadays anyway. But there you go. It it works. And I would think the best thing to do would be to make up some case to fit that in. And some people go to the extent of actually cutting up this case and fitting everything inside the case. So you've got your socket sticking out. I suppose it depends how big your case is and how much stuff there is inside. Anyway, yeah, so it works. Thanks for watching. If you want more information, check down below in the video description. If you like this video, you might like this one up here. And if you want to subscribe, you can check out my channel over here. Up here is my latest video on my channel, and down here is a video playlist associated with the video you've just watched. Thanks again for watching.